a story about a man who was living in the desert. And one day he uh, leaves his tent and he hears a clap of thunder and he sees what appears to be a large cloud. So he goes closer to the cloud and he recognizes it's not a cloud, it's a lion. And uh, he takes his musket, he's ready to kill the lion, but he goes a little closer and he realizes it's not a cloud, not a lion, it's a human being. And that really is quite amazing to him. So he goes even further and he realizes it's his brother. And that was the end of the story. But I think it's a very important story. Because as we grow closer to each other, we recognize that the individual we are talking to is our brother. Rabbi Scholz was impressed and inspired by the fact that so many Gentiles stepped in when they didn't have to to help the Jews during the Holocaust because it was the right thing to do. The idea was to find out who are these people who risk their lives, the lives of their family, to help people of another faith. Jewish World Watch is an organization that Rabbi Shulway started to help take action to help these refugees in Darfur. Rabbi Shulway, why did you start the Jewish World Watch organization? The simple answer is conscience. I felt that as, as a Jew who knows uh, something about the abandonment of the world, the callousness of the world and of suffering that um, this promise of never again which is a holy promise meant that Jews myself included must never again remain uh, silent yes. feign inability and fatigue not to do something that's the simple answer how did you get people to take action and respond? I must tell you that I did not expect this kind of response. But I did learn from this the tremendous idealism which is in people. People want to be good and to help and to support those who are fallen and to bind the wounds of those who have been injured. And, uh, we don't give them enough opportunity to do that. And uh, when they heard it, the response was overwhelming. The obligation that we have is to open our hearts, care for one another, and take action. Rabbi Shoais teaches us that we, as human beings, should never turn our backs on those in need. My hero saw this in a place 7,960 miles away and said, in our world, we are responsible for these people and not just walk right by and not care. They need our help and we need to help them. When I was a young man, your age, all the rabbis talked about the fact that we are going to be the future of the Jewish people and so forth. And I realized that's a mistake. You're not the future, you're the present. And that's what happens in Jewish life. That I have found that because of you, parents have been influenced, a parent generation and a grandparent generation. So you were the leaders and you've done a great deal. And it's, uh, and the pride in Judaism is not simply of what happened 4,000 years ago, right. but what's happening right now. I have judged myself and I am delighted that I'm a Jew and that I'm part of a people that cares about the brokenness of the world.